everyone, and welcome to Hashtag the Channel, live from Barton and Beckham College. And today we have a lot of stuff coming up. Um, for example, we have a live Jenga battle, as well as some performances from Amy and Emmanuel. And I'll also be interviewing Sara, who is uh, a big anime fan. Uh, but firstly, we have Emmanuel, who is an ex BBC student performing the very own song. for that performance from Emmanuel. Um, next up, we have Sarah here on couch. Um, and I'm just going to ask her a few questions. So, for the people that don't know what anime is, how would you describe it? Um, well, it's basically Japanese animation, and it's, it's gone quite big in like the States. It's like quite popular now, so, yeah. And how, how do you actually watch anime? Uh, well, I usually go on Kiss Anime to watch it, but if I have enough money to buy a Crunchyroll subscription, I'll usually watch it on there since the quality is a lot more high definition. <laughs> I've heard a lot about Crunchyroll. Um, yeah. How, what is your favourite show on uh, Crunchyroll or Kiss Anime? It's quite a hard question because there's so many good anime I've watched, but I have to go with Tokyo Ghoul because it's just... The animation is amazing, the characters are like on point, it's just like, the story is amazing, like everything about the anime is just so great. And who is your favourite character out of that show? Um, I, I'm going to be cliche here and say Tanuki is my favourite, but I also quite like Uta because his character design is just on point and he's quite attractive as well, so it's good for me. Um, now Pokemon is probably like m the most biggest and well known anime. So, do you have a favourite Pokemon? Haunter, definitely. He's like so mischievous and adorable. And he's been my favourite Pokemon since like at a very young age because I've been into Pokemon since I was like seven or eight. So, yeah, he has a, you know, a big place in my heart. Um, do you know any Japanese? Um,. I only know basics, like, hi, 
um, how are you? I do know a few curse words though, but I shouldn't be saying that here. <laughs> uh, do you want to visit Japan? Um, yes, definitely. Um, the only thing holding me back is I don't have enough money to go, but once I do, or if I do, I'll definitely make a trip there first. Um, an interesting question. Um, would you rather live in an anime world or, or the w real world? Hmm, it's quite a fun question, actually. Um, I, the anime world would be a lot more interesting, but also a lot more terrifying as well, because so many crazy things happen in like all sorts of anime and like sometimes it can be like gory or like you know just really really scary so i much prefer to be in the real world okay and for people that are new to anime what sh show would you recommend them to watch definitely tokyo ghoul free psychopath zanki no terror death note attack on titan you name it there's so many other anime that it's just so amazing okay well thank you for that thank you um i'm actually a huge anime fan for myself uh, now we have another very special guest amy with her very own song That was a pretty cool song from Amy, and I think that we've got our Jenga game set up, so let's go over to the other room. Hello and welcome to BBC. We are here for the grand final of the Jenga tournament. We're here today on the left, Pony Boy, and on the right, Weasley. Let's begin. Swiftly going through, going through the side blocks, leaving one block in the middle. Looking for the best possible solution, or marvellous. Ooh, Wally, ooh, Weasley, I mean. Has he found his wand? Yes. Absolutely magical. Going for the middle block. You can tell he's trained in the black arts. Pony boy. It's hard to play with hooves. It really is. Is he going for this block? Is he being a madman? Ah, oh, that's some magic shit right there. 
I've only walked down for another sidewalk. Magnificent, magnificent play right there. Weasley going right in, absolutely spellbinding. Boney boy. This is how it is top ring. Weasley, every move he makes moves to the power. Is he going to use his black arts again? Or will he leave it to luck? This is cheeky, leaving it on a single block at the bottom. You can really see why we've chosen the Gryffindor. But it could also be Slytherin, the way you're slithering in to get those blocks. Ponyboy observing every possible solution. And it's still not the end. Weasley. Can Weasley do it? Can he play off the victory for the grand finals to begin the tournament? Ah. Tilting the tower ever so slightly. He has made this playing ground even harder than before. And friendly banter exchanging. And Ponyboy has lost. Is Weezy going to show us a little spell? I guess not. Thanks for joining in, guys. Goodbye. Wow, that was a really fun Jenga battle. I really enjoyed that, as well as all the performances we had today. So thanks for watching. I've been Shane with Hashtag The Channel. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.